Hi there and welcome to another Windows 7 tutorial. In this one we're going to have a look at the Windows 7 update settings. From there you'll be able to change the time and um, if you'd like your Windows updates to be automatic or not. Um, to do this you go down to your start menu, click on that, go up to control panel, click on that and then you'll see system and security at the top here, click on that and then go down to Windows Update, click on that and on the left side you've got change settings, click on that. Okay so here we have our options, um, so here we have important updates and via the pull down menu you can change the various options here. By default um, it should be selected to install updates automatically and in brackets that's recommended, so this is one I recommend you have selected. Alternatively though you can um, select some other options, um, there's one here which says download updates but let me choose whether to install them. Um, so basically that will let you know when it's downloaded the updates and it will prompt you um, to install them. The next one is check for updates but let me choose whether to download and install them. Um, so that is so, sort of similar to the t this one right here except it will um, let you know to download them basically um, before installing them and the bottom one is not recommended, um, it's basically never check for updates um, which basically leaves you vulnerable um, um, to uh, secure, secure, there'll be a lot of security holes basically um, if you do not do this and you'll be basically open to attack and things so um, it's certainly not recommended ok so under that um, you've got install new updates, you can choose every day like I have or you can select basically every day of the week and this one here you can select the time you want to uh, do the updates um, please note that the, uh, your computer will have to be um, turned on for it to be able to do these updates so um, you could choose uh, a time like sort of uh, 12 o'clock I guess here will be fine okay so under, under that you've got recommended updates give me recommended updates the same way I receive important updates um, I always have that left ticked, um, I won't bother taking that off really. Um, who can install updates? Um, if you've got multiple users, um, user accounts, um, you can have um, all of them, uh, all the users be able to um, do updates or if you want just yourself you can untick this box. Next one is Microsoft Update. Give me updates for Microsoft products and check for new optional Microsoft software when I update Windows. So some of the Microsoft um, software can be installed by having this ticked. Um, software notifications, show me detailed notifications when new Microsoft software is available. Um, you can have that selected if you wish. Okay, so that's some of the uh, basic options there. Um, and when you're basically finished, you just press OK here. I'm going to press cancel for now. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the other options as well. Um, you can check for updates here. If you click on that, it will scan for any updates needed. This might take a little while to do, so please be patient. Okay, so as you can see, it's scanned for updates and it's telling me that I have one important update that is available. If I click on that, I can see which update is needed. Is needed. And this one's basically for Windows Defender, and I've got it ticked currently. Um, if you want to install that, you could tick it and press OK. Um, also, you've got optional, and these can actually have drivers in them as well, which is if it's for your hardware. Um, so you may want to check this option sometimes and have a look what's in it. But currently, we've got some updates here which I haven't selected. Um, you could tick the ones if you want them, and it gives you a detail on the right-hand side about what these ones do. Okay, so we've got all the ones I want ticked, and I'll go to OK, and then it tells me how much uh, uh, it's going to take up in space, and you could go to Install Updates right now, and it will uh, go through that, and it may even want to restart your computer, um, so please be aware of that. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the um, Windows updates and I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my website on www.whiteclick.co.uk from there you can check out more videos and you can also check out the forum which will have some helpful user guides on there too. Thanks for watching.